Yo, 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 yo. I had the mic turned off. What's up? What's up, everybody? Everybody? Send me your music. Send me your music. Let me see. Let me see. Let me check the stream. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? What's going on? Yiggity yo yo yo. So, pop up, pop up, chat. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Put this like this. Alright. Should be good. Should be good. Alright, let's do this.
Can't keep you satisfied when you count the heartaches and just roll the dice. I see you through your eyes, emptiness when you realize I'm just a waste of tears and compromise. You think that I'm greedy, greedy. You think that I'm greedy, greedy. You think that I'm greedy. Yo, 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 what up, bro? What's cracking? Tristan. Tristan. What up, big dog? Send me your music, bro. I'll check it out on stream right now.
Yeah, Tristan, send it to my email, bro. Send it to my email. Let me know when you send it, and I'll check it out. I'll check it out right now. Go ahead and send it, bro. Tristan, Tristan Beats. Send it over. Yo, yo, I'll check it out right now. Let's see. Let's check it. Let's chickity check it. Let's see. All right. Let's see this real quick. Let's. Um. Firefox. Where's it at? Did you send it to? I'm back. Go check your e your mailbox. Let me check my mail. Where's it at? Is it on this account or the other one? I guess it's the other one. Where's it at? You sent it to this email? Zuko live streams. Is that the one you sent it to? I forgot to send your mail. Come on, Tristan. Ah, oh, bro, what are you doing? Come on, Tristan. Get it together, bro. Get it together. Ah, voila! What is it? What? What language? Enjoy. What? Huawei. Huawei. What is this? My song. My song. How do I go to it? Do I type this in or what? Tristan, where are you from? Trist. Oh, you're from France. Wow, that's crazy. I don't I keep on getting people from France in my streams. Okay, okay, let's check it out.
Dang, bro, that's pretty good. I'm surprised you were able to make that on the mobile version. That's crazy. I mean, that seems hard to do. To make a track, like, from FL Mobile. That's, uh, I don't know. It seems difficult. Because, like, there's so much in FL Studio, different plugins, all this kind of stuff. I don't, so, did you use just, like, the basic plugins, like, in FL, or can you get, like... Can you get all the other plugins like Serum, Inspire, and Silent, and all that? Can you get all that stuff on mobile? I don't even know. That's crazy, though. I'm surprised you were able to make that on mobile, bro. Yep. Yep, it's really hard. Yeah, I thought so. That's crazy. That seems difficult, bro. Let me finish listening. That big old horn at the end. <laughs> Wow, bro, that's crazy. So most of that stuff was made with one shots, huh? That's uh, that's pretty crazy. That's pretty good, bro. That's pretty good. So is all your all your music is made on mobile or what? Dang, bro, that's crazy. All of it was made on mobile. That's pretty, uh, I don't even, I don't know. I've never tried mobile before, but it just doesn't, it just seems like it would be super difficult on mobile just because, I don't know, you can't even get all the plugins and so, wow. And then what do you do? You plug in your... So when you're making the music, do you use your headphones or do you like plug it into some speakers or what do you do or what? I don't even know. You're probably the only person I know that uses mobile, which is pretty cool. I mean, that's crazy. I don't even... That's crazy. Do you not have a computer or what? I know it says you're 15, so that's probably... Maybe that's why you don't have a computer, but... That's pretty good, bro. For for mobile, that's that's pretty good that you made all this stuff. It's pretty good.
Damn, Tristan, I'm jealous, bro. You got more subscribers than me. How the fuck did you get so much subscribers? Dang, how long you been joined for? So since... August, how did you get so much subscribers so quickly? That's pretty good, dude. That's really good. That's, yeah, that's good. What did you say? My beat song ever is the one I uploaded in 10 minutes. Uh, what? My beat song ever, my best song ever is the one I upload. I uploaded in 10 minutes. I made it with my, what they PC and a heavy metal dubstep remix. I send you the preview. Oh, where's the preview at? You sent it to my email or what? What is it? What is it? What is it? I need to learn French, bro. Teach me some French. Teach me some French. I had some, um, I had some for my birthday. This girl brought me some, like, a couple days ago, my birthday. Um, this girl, Bessima, brought me some, uh, some French pastries, bro. There's this one called the, uh, called the Napoleon or something like that. The Napoleon, I think it was called. Uh, it was good. It was real good. Actually, that was my favorite one by far. Have you heard of it before or what? And how am I getting a lot of people from France listening to my music? That's pretty crazy. I'm surprised by that a little bit. It takes a little time to send. Oh, okay. Let me back up. Oh, there you go. Right here, right here. Let's do it. So that's like a mixture of heavy metal and dubstep. Nice.
Hey, how long have you been producing for? That one's uh, that's pretty good. So that was made with one shots as well, or what? You got that shit loud too. That, that shit was like, yeah. Somehow you got it pretty loud. Did you put a limiter, or or did you just mix it loud, or? It's pretty dope. That I'm get, is that all one shots as well, or what? Is that all one shots? Let me see. Let me check out your other stuff. Yeah, that one does sound like pretty heavy metal too. Three years of producing. Nice, bro. Nice. I thought the song was over for a second. I was like, oh, the song's over. Oh, whoa, came back out of nowhere. Okay, okay, I like that, uh, that old school style sample that you put in there that was pretty dope pretty creative i like doing stuff like that just throwing weird samples in there but like it can i don't know certain samples could just give your song like a really cool vibe kind of change it up samples are great honestly I, i've been using a, a lot of samples lately like i wasn't using samples at all for the longest time and then just recently i started using samples a lot started using samples a lot um especially like in the drop section of the song i use samples to try to like fill up the mix or put it in the background can i send you my first fiver okay. a rapper sing with the beat yeah send it what is that first fiver request favor request franco que pasa franco Franco Rocha, Franco's from Argentina, what's up Franco, Tristan is from France bro, Tristan, this is my first time seeing him in the chat, but yeah, can I send you my verse, Franco, what's up papi chulo, ay, can I send you my first regard? rapper sing with the beat, what do you mean, I don't understand what you mean, Hold on, I gotta go pee. Hold on, real quick. Franco, what's up, Tristan?
yo, yo. I'm back. I'm biggity back. Franco, what's cracking, bro? I forgot what music you sent me last time. Let's see, let's see. What did Franco send? I forgot what it was. Here he is. Yeah, bro. Send me any genre, bro. Can I send another genre song? Anything, bro. I'll listen to any music. Anything. 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 Anything and everything, bro. I'll listen to whatever you guys want to send. I'm down to listen to and check it out. Um, uh, I send you my beat I made for Oli. Who's Oli? Where is it at? I don't know who Oli is. Franco, you got to finish this track, bro. By the end of the week, I expect you to be done with this track. This is a good track, but you need to um, do those things I asked you to do and finish it, bro. Share the stream. Yo, guys, share the stream. Yeah, share the stream, bro. Let's, uh, let's get as much people as we can in here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's make it a big party. Social distancing party, though. Social distancing party. But, yeah, finish this track, Franco. I like it. I like it. I need you to finish it. Put some vocals. Put some vocals and then let's see what's up. But I like it. All right, Tristan. Uh-oh, Tristan sending that fire. Shower. What you know about falling asleep on the bus knowing 
ends at the wrong hour. Yeah, yeah. Like I told you guys, mm. my lord is coming in the hour. hour. Like I told you guys, my lord is coming in. Pokey, pokey, all the ops out there, they nosy. I used to chill on the block, I was lonely, couldn't give a I was chasing the bag, babies get put in the split like a flow. Make the word do good, make the devil sad. When you got time, no team on politics. Make the devil sad. Pokey, pokey, all the ops out there, they nosy. Pokey, pokey. That's pretty dope, bro. Good job, uh, Tristan. So you produced that, huh? That's pretty, uh, that's pretty dope, dude. Oh, I don't know who this guy, the rapper is, but it sounds pretty dope, too. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let me, uh, that was dope, though. I like that. That was probably your best one, I think, so far, honestly. All right, let's check it out. Let's check it, check it, check it. Turn up those claps. The claps and the hi-hats, turn up the volume on them. They sound like too far back in the mix. Turn up the volume on it. The rhythm is great. The rhythm is good. I like the rhythm a lot. Um, maybe you could possibly add more layers of bass or like the lead sounds, but the idea is good. The idea is good. It just needs to be a little bit more powerful. And... Um, the claps and hi-hats need to be a little bit louder, but the idea is really good. Yeah, that's dope, bro. My favorite part is this part right here, bro. I like this part a lot. Right before the second drop. Yeah, that's pretty dope, bro. The idea is good. The rhythm's good. It's pretty dope. Like some slap house type of type of thing going on there. I like it though. It's dope. It's dope, dope, dope. Yeah, I just think the claps and the hi hats need to be like louder. 
a um, little bit louder, a little bit cleaner, and then let me see something with the bass sounds um, like it needs to be more full or something. Hold on, let me check. Maybe uh, turn up the kick a little bit, turn up the volume on the kick um, just a little bit. Um, but yeah, yeah, sounds good, dude. The idea is good. The idea is like, I like it. The rhythm and everything is pretty good with it. Not bad, bro. Do you got anything? Do you have like a SoundCloud or anything? H-S-Y-N. H-S-Y-N. SoundCloud. H-S-Y-N. Let's see if you got anything. H, 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 S, Y, N. Let's, is that you from Istanbul? You're from Turkey? Wait, is this you? Is that you? Or no? Or maybe not, I don't know. Which one's you? That one's you right there, huh? Yeah, there you are. <laughs> is that one you or what? Which one are you? That's you right there, huh? Where you at, HSYN? Let me see if this is you. Beautiful music, bro. Beautiful. Which one? What's your account? What's your? Do you have a SoundCloud or what? A SoundCloud. Oh, there you are. You're right there. Wait, you are from Turkey. You are from Turkey. You haven't posted any tracks. That's you. I think. Is that you? Yeah, that's you right there. You got a YouTube. And you got Instagram. Wait, what? I'm so confused. What in the world? I'm so confused right now. Wait, which one's? Okay. This Y N. H S Y N. Oh, that's you. I thought that was the other guy. Who's the other guy then? Thank you for the feedback. Wait, what? I'm confused right now. Who's, wait, are these both of you? No, man, it's don't me. Yeah, that's, if you don't have, you can listen to my other fireflies. Well, who's this top account? Who's this guy right here? Thank you for the feedback. Which, I don't remember giving feedback. Who's this one? I don't know, dude. Let me see. I'll check. 145 to... How you got 145 subscribers? You don't even got no post. What? How's that possible? Oh, you're the same. What? Why you got two different accounts? Oh, probably one's your personal account. One's your... Okay. Okay, okay. Alrighty. So this is you. You don't know how to post. But how do you have 145 subscribers on YouTube? You haven't posted nothing. I don't understand that. Bot site. Bots. Psych. Bots, bro. You got bots, huh? How did you do that? How did you do that, bro? I don't even got that much. You got more than me. You got more than me. Ay, yay, yay. You got more than me, bro. Six plays. Play to six. 152. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. So, 
So I don't know Spotify. You don't have it. Let me see. H S Y N Fire Flies. There you are. This is you. H S Y N baby. Bass boosted. Wow, you got your bass boosted. Let's check it out. I feel like right there should have been a clap. Right there. Like right in the middle of the first section of the drop. Um, but this one's cleaner. I would say this one's cleaner than sad. But I think sad. I think sad could be better. I think sad could be better than this one. And it probably is better than this one. Once, once you finish it and once you clean it up a bit. I think this one's pretty clean in general, how it sounds and everything is pretty clean. I think sad isn't as clean as this one, but it has potential to be a lot better because the rhythm and then just the vocals and everything and the chord progression. So I think sad, yeah, sad should be better than this one. By the time you're done with it, it should probably be like two or three times better than this one. Um, this one's good though. Like the mix is pretty, pretty clean on this one. Um, yeah. Yeah, this one's good. This one's good. Yeah, sounds good. Very clean. H A S Y N. H S Y N. What does H S Y N stand for, anyways? Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. H S Y N. What does it stand for? Fireflies. Yeah, that's the one that I watched. Yeah, 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 yeah. H S Y N. Yeah, yeah. Tristan Franco. Where are you at, Franco? I haven't heard you say anything in a few minutes. Where are you at? Uh, what is this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's my track. That's my track. Yo, Zuko, I was listening to your SoundCloud. Yeah, what you think, bro? Did you hear my, did you hear my new track? There's a song. Did you hear my my new one that I released that I like a lot? Which one is it? 
these are some that are unfinished. Maybe I'll show you guys. Ah, let me see. I'll show you guys. They're super unfinished, but I'll show you guys. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What was the one that you liked it in your new song? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, my mixing and mastering has got pretty good recently. My mixing is done very, very well. Very well. Yeah. Zuko Timeless. Oh, dude. Timeless. Bro, you see the project file for Timeless? It's, bro, that shit's crazy. Oh gosh, the project file is like, it's almost like a hundred tracks, dude. It's fucking crazy. That one, um, is just, is nuts. I'm supposed to release the, the FLP on that one for free once I get to like a hundred likes on the video. So once I get to a hundred likes, I'll release the FLP for free, but yeah, the mixing on that one, uh, it's crazy. I mean, it just, it took so long, bro. The mixing and mastering, bro. Yeah, yeah the mixing and mastering took a minute, dude. Can I, sh can you show it? This is all. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, let me see. It's going to take a minute to even load it, bro. Um. Uh, it won't even like the thing is, if I load it, it won't even like load. Let's hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, hold on. Let me see. Let me take this off. Let me let me see if I can find. Oh wait, I think it's over here. Final, actual, full final. All right, let's load it up. Let's see what happens. Let's see. It's loading. It's going on? It's loading. Yeah, I think it's just crazy. What did you say? The vibes in that song are crazy. I felt that I was in space. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Yeah. How I name my tracks is just like, or in like another universe. I don't know. Yeah, how I try to, like, name my tracks is I try to go with what, I don't know, just what it, I'll listen to the track, and then I'll, I'll see what it makes me feel, or see what it makes me think of, and then I, and then I name it, like, according to whatever that is, and then also when I do the artwork, I'll play the song, and I'll try to create artwork, so I create my artwork in this, it's called Canva. So check it out. I recommend it. Um, but I create my artwork in here. And... Oh, this shit was loud. I it loaded up, but look it. I create my artwork in here. And I'll just keep kind of swapping out the designs. And see... When I listen to the song, I'll see which one like goes with the vibe. 
I see which one goes with the vibe of like of the actual track. So that's how I do it. But look at the project loaded up. Let me show you. All right. So let's see. I don't even think it'll load because there's so much on it. But look, I think it goes all the way. It goes all the way down to like. Fuck. Does it go all the way down here? Nah. Oh, well, did it? I don't know. There's a lot of tracks and shit. Maybe I deleted all that. I don't know. There was a lot, though, dude. So it goes all the way down to here. So it goes down to 85. Some of the tracks are turned off. Some of the tracks are on. Um, but, yeah. This one took forever, bro. When I when I made this track, um, I was just never happy with, like, the full mix, dude. I was just like, I don't know. I just kept, like second guessing it like ah does it sound good and then i just finally i just was like all right fuck it it's good it's good but it took a minute like look at all this stuff bro it's crazy how much tracks we got here so all of them are different elements and shit why does it look like that oh yeah so what is this that's like some background some background like hits that I used to give it some like energy in the back, which I thought sounded cool. Try to be on yeah, it's probably not even gonna load. I probably have to take off all this. Yeah, that's like my favorite thing to do too is like when I go into the the break section, I like having the um the upcoming melody kind of come in and then also just like filtering everything. And then man, look at all this shit, dude. All these automation clips, bro. This <laughs> this track was crazy to make. It took a minute. I was never really happy with it. The crazy thing is um Oh, the background vocals are sick. Yeah, that's yeah, dude. That's something I've been doing a lot lately is the the vocals, bro. So that's like been a major thing for me lately is putting in some cool ass vocals. So like, I think let me try to go through some of the vocals on the track. So here's some right here. I'll I'll show you like I, basically yeah, basically I use a lot of So recently I've been trying to put a lot of atmosphere into my music and stuff and like doing that a lot of like basically what gives you that atmosphere in a way is like putting a lot of reverb on stuff and also filtering stuff so um like the vocals i'll show you i put a lot of reverb in it sometimes i'll filter it so it seems further back in the mix and it just gives like a lot of atmosphere to the mix so i'll show you these vocals real quick So those vocals have a shitload of reverb on it. As you can hear, it just carries on forever. Matter of fact, I'm surprised I even put that much reverb on there. Like it goes on for a long time. Let me see, 37. So 37. If you look at the reverb, no, I'm not using that. I'm using this one. The reverb goes on for like eight seconds. The decay, the mix level's at 52. So the reverb like carries on. So if I actually take everything off, if I take off, let me move everything over because it's bugging me. Um, so if I take everything 
off of the vocal. Check it out, watch. This is what it sounds like with, with everything off of it. So as you can see, that gives like no vibe, no atmosphere, no nothing. I'll play it in the song so you can kind of hear it. So as you can see, that doesn't sound very good. That, it's just like dry as hell. Now check it out when I actually put the effects on it. Yeah, so on this section, this is the vocals. I'll show you right now. Actually, let me show you without anything on it. Matter of fact, let me see. Is this connected? So 43. Let me turn everything off. Uh, uh. Yeah, the crazy thing is if I if I pitch it back to the normal sound, this is what it completely sounded like without me doing anything to it. I'll, I'll pitch it back to the regular key. And then I'll show you what it sounds like after I put all the effects and everything. <laughs> Shit. What happened? Oh, they're two different. They're totally different. Uh... Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. So. All right, hold on. Let me take the effects off. Now that's it without the effects. Now if I put the effects on and I pitched it, so I pitched it up to the key. This one should be, yeah. So I pitched it up to the key and then with the effects, now it sounds like this. yeah baby yeah so that's that's how i did that yeah 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 this track was like man i fucking i went in on this one bro i gotta admit this is like one of my best ones this one's like crazy crazy with all the fucking shit that i put in here bro put a lot of samples in here but yeah this one was just like a lot a lot a lot a lot and the mixing i just kept going over and over and over with the like the with the final like mix and master and on the masters like a bunch of shit dude like look at all this this is all the stuff that i had on the master which is probably unnecessary but fruity balance is necessary for the um i, vol I automate the volume as we get closer to the drop lower the volume when the drop hits volume up 
and it hits a lot harder. Yeah, baby. Yeah. So got OTT, which is free. You guys grab that plugin. Kind of mess around with it. Just mess with this setting, the depth settings. The main thing is mess with the depth settings. Um, you basically want that anywhere from like zero percent to forty percent. I'm normally in the twenty, the fifteen to twenty-five percent range, twenty-seven percent. I use it on my um, my leads and all that stuff too, just to um, just to compress it. How much do you reduce the volume and the buildup? So I normally go from like, so when you open up Fruity Balance, it'll be at eighty percent. It'll be um, like when you go right here, Fruity Balance will automatically show up at eighty percent when you create the automation clip. So when you go to Fruity Balance. You click on the knob and go to create automation. And when you create it, it'll automatically be at 80%. So right here will be at 80%. So this is the beginning part of the build. I'll show you real quick. Hold on, let me turn off all this crap. Maybe just Fruity L. So um, beginning part of the build, it'll be at 80%. And then I drop it to around 69 to 71. I'll normally have it go down to 69 to 71. And I'll either have it come back up right here at the end on the last bar. Or I'll keep it down here and then I'll have it shoot up um, right when it hits. So I'll show you right now. So it goes from 80 down to 69. And then I kind of have it swooping back up right when it's going to hit the drop. So yeah, it looks like it drops by like 3 dB or so, but um, yeah, really, I reduced the volume. It looks like about 3 decibels, but yeah, something like that, about 3 decibels. And then when the drop hits, it goes back, gives it more energy, and it hits a lot harder. So, and then you want to put that, that should be the first thing on your master. Make sure the volume is the first on your master, so when it does go down in volume, the compressor and all that it's not like trying to compress it like super hard or nothing so put that before that'll be the first thing in my opinion that should be your first thing on your um, in your chain is the volume to automate the volume so yeah that my suggestion go from 80 percent which is what it'll be at when you create the automation clip it'll be at 80 percent as you go down the build reduce the volume to about 69 to 71 and you'll see the percentage come up on the top left of the screen. So, let me see. Does it show my mouse up here? Does it show my mouse? No, it doesn't show my mouse. But, let me see. Maybe I should be able to let me turn on my mouse. How do I do that? Uh, I don't know how to do it. Yo, one more question. Yeah, what's up? What up? What up, big dog? Yeah, basically, yeah, reduce the volume from 80% down to 69%. Yeah, go ahead and ask the question. I'm going to go take a piss real quick. Go ahead and ask it. I'll get back to it right now. I'm back, Franco. 
let's see when making plugs you use presets or you design uh, most of the time I use presets uh, most of the time I use presets but um, a lot of times I'll design it myself too it just depends just depends but I would say mostly I use presets yeah yeah but when I do a lot of times you're gonna have to adjust so sometimes there's different ways of going about making music like when I watched Avicii make a song I seen him make a song on future music he he was making a track and how he goes about it which is one method of going about it is he just keeps searching for the perfect song sorry perfect song the perfect sound so Avicii will go through a bunch of presets and he'll find the perfect sound and boom he'll keep it and he doesn't really tweak it too much if at all he'll just he'll find it and he'll boom once you hear it what a lot of times when I go through presets I'm I'm going through and listening and seeing which one really catches my attention seeing which one catches my attention seeing which one is giving me yeah, making me feel a certain way. Good, bad, whatever it is. But it's making me feel a certain way. Anything like that is what you want to look for. Um, but there's other producers who either will design the sound themselves, which is dope, which is good because in some ways it kind of gives you your own sound. Um, and also, like, it gets you good at designing sounds so you can, like, adjust sounds pretty easily and quickly when you need to, which is a good thing. Um, because you have like a good understanding of how synthesizers work and all that stuff. So, um, sometimes I make the sounds, sometimes I'll find the preset and then I'll change it up. I'll adjust it. Um, sometimes make it my own in a way, or sometimes just tweak it a little bit to fit into the song. Um, uh, let's see, because I'm starting to sound design, but I don't know how to design deep house plucks. Um... Deep House Plux, let's see. Let me see if I can. Let me see. Hold on, let me see if I can try to show you. Let me um let me see if I could I'll pull up some melodies that I made. Actually Timeless which is crazy but Timeless came from um Timeless came from uh I made a bunch of melodies and I'll see if I could pull it up. I made a bunch of melodies and some of them are some of them are pretty good, some of them are whatever. But where is it at? Where is it at? I don't know. I don't know. Um I made a bunch of melodies and then I was just like I was just like uh let me see if I can pull a melody and and just finish off um finish off a track cuz I made a Good amount of melodies. Where are they at? What were they called? Down, down from blind, shoot. Um, EDM MIDI melody. Oh, here you go. I think I found them. I stop. To my song, I want to make plucks like. Cute style, but I can't find the right preset. Oh yeah. Probably talk to uh, what's his name, bro. Um, you know, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Um, hold on. Um, or design it. Yeah, his plucks are pretty dope. So, he made a song with Z. Let me see where's it at. So, my favorite song by him is this one, probably. I think it's um, is that how you spell his name yeah yeah so six days ago let me check this one out hold on
Oh, man, I had my mic off the whole time. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Let me see. So, he made a dope track, which is my favorite track by him. Uh, this one. This one's sick, dude. I'm working with um, ZYQS right now. So they both made this track together, but I really, I didn't even know. Initially, I didn't know that Z, ZYQS made this song with him. Um, but this is like one of my favorite Deep House tracks, and they made it together. So this one's really dope. Let me see his new track, though. Hold on. That's that's not his new track. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. His yeah. So this song right here is my my favorite one. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah. So this one right here is my favorite one for sure. Um, this one right here that I'm about to play is like my favorite track by him. Tell me if you want to follow me, no, to follow me. Take me to your arms and never leave me. Don't leave me, boy. Tell me if you want to follow me, no, to follow me. Take me to your arms and never leave me. Don't leave me, boy. The same things, the same thing, no, the same things, the same thing, no, the same things, the same thing, no, the same things. Don't leave me, boy. The same, you know, the same, the same, the same, yeah, bro. This shit, this song right here to me is like, bro. <laughs> The song is like as good as, I mean, it's perfect, bro. I really can't, can't, uh, really can't critique it, bro. I'm surprised it doesn't have like hardly any plays either. That's the weird part for me. I don't understand that. Um, cause it's so good. So good. I'm just like, what? Where's all the freaking plays at on that thing? It just doesn't make sense cause. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And let me see. I think there's. Oh, right here. So he has a good amount of plays on it. 6,000. But I still think it should have more than that. I think it's super dope. One of my favorite artists is JLV. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. It's dope, dude. He's really fucking good now. Like, my favorite track by him, and I was bumping it on the way home um, earlier today. I was up, hung out with my grandma, went to the zoo and stuff. Pretty dope. Um, yeah. Let me see. Add me, Franco. I don't know if you have me on Instagram. Add me or send me a message and I'll add you back. But, um, yeah, my favorite song by... Uh, my favorite producer. Ah, Panuma's good, bro. Panuma's good. Oh, there's quite a few of them, bro. There's quite a few of them that are, like, really dope. I don't know. On Instagram. Oh, okay. There's quite a few of them that are really dope. Um, um, let me see. Panuma's dope. Panuma reminds me. There's, 
There's quite a few artists that kind of remind me of each other in some ways. Panuma reminds me of somebody else. Who's the other guy I'm thinking of? Oh, this guy's pretty good. Yannick is pretty good, too. Um, I forgot who the other guy is that I'm thinking of. Only have YouTube. Uh, you only got YouTube. Who's the other guy I'm thinking of? Mm, this profile doesn't really have all the the um music that I'm thinking of. I'm thinking to create an Instagram. Yeah, create it, bro. Make it. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Create it. Make it. Let's do it. Yeah, let me see. As far as Deep House, my favorite. Um, and the crazy thing is my favorites aren't really my favorites no more, which is weird to say. Like, they're my favorite, but, like, they changed their genre so much that I don't really even like them that much anymore. So, True Concept. Oh, shoot. True Con... Concept. True Concept. Oh, whoops. Con... I... There we go. True Concept um, is one of my favorites, but now I'm not, like, that into his music anymore, to be honest with you. Like, let's listen to... Let's listen to his last track. Okay, I'll compare his last track to his older stuff, and you'll see what I mean. Like, this song right here goes super hard. So does, so does, where is it at? Dang. No, I don't see it on here. It should be, so Save Me is dope. And then, watch. So I'll play his newest track right now, just so we can see. So compare that with this one, bro. So, I mean, you got that track, which is dope. That thing came out three years ago. And then you got this other track that is also by True Concept. Check it out. This one's also dope. So, I mean, that track is dope, dude. Like, True Concepts older stuff is really, really sick, in my opinion. Now, his new stuff I'm not really into. I Don't Love You No More. Well, let me see. I need... Who's the other? Yeah, that's sick. Let me... Yeah, that's sick. Old True Concept. Yeah, or I Don't Love You. I Don't Love You. Oh, is that True Concept? Something like that? Let me check. Let me listen to the other song while we're doing it.
Yeah, this one's pretty dope. I like that. That's real good. I need... Yeah. No, I found the track. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, dude, True Concept had a lot, matter of fact, dude. Like, the one that you sent me is dope. Um, freaking... I forgot that. This one, I Like Me Better True Concept Remix is super sick. Um, but there's quite a few of them. There's quite a few of them that are really dope. This remix, um, We Don't Talk Anymore, True Concept Remix, Save Me. Like, dude, he had a lot of dope tracks. And now I'm kind of like, eh. I don't know. Like, this one's dope, the one you're talking about. Oh, I have my mic off. But yeah, I don't hear you. Yeah, no, I was saying that song's dope. I listen to it right now. 5 a.m. is another one that True Concept made that's dope. Like, he's made a lot of dope, really cool songs. And recently, uh, I haven't really been listening to his. Like, I listen to his tracks, and then I'm like, eh. I don't end up liking it or, like, putting it on my playlist just because... I don't know, I think, I don't know, I just like his older stuff. His older stuff, just deeper, or just, I don't know, something. Something. I like the the vibes of the older track, I guess you can say. Same thing with JLV. JLV, um, his old stuff I freaking love. His old stuff. Which is crazy, because, like, it's weird how, like, an artist, they make, like a really dope music and a really cool style that they got going on and then and then they change but then again I feel like I kind of did that too though in a way I was making future bounce like crazy but then I kind of fell in love with deep house and I was like oh this is dope I, I I don't know something about it just I like it a lot I like it a lot so but I don't know it's kind of weird. Because he's still making stuff that's kind of Deep House sounding. Both of them are, actually. They're mo it's still making kind of Deep House type of tracks, but they just have, like, a different feel to them. They're just not not the same or something. I don't know. Um, Let's see. Yeah, let's see what, uh, like, let's see what JLV's last track was. I am. I'll be as 
Yeah, I'm just not that into that one. I'm not that into it, I don't know. Um, let's see what else we got. This summer. Dang it, I keep forgetting my mic is off. But, uh, yeah, Panuma, he's dope. He's always put out some, like, really good tracks. And they're pretty much, you know, around the same type of type of feel, in a way. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see Panuma's last. Let's see his latest tracks. Yeah, this one is weird. Like, I would say that I'm not like, like a huge fan of it, in the way where like I would probably listen to it all the time. But I like, like this is perfect for like a, kind of like a, beach party or some type of like, like, Vegas like, kind of like a Vegas pool party type of thing. Like this is like really good. Like as far as the mix and all that stuff, this is like really good. This is good. Yeah, like the mixing and everything is like really good. The mixing and all that obviously is on point, but not my favorite from Panuma. Oh, dude, Franco, bro, I'm, I don't know if it was Panuma, but there was this freaking song. I thought it, I thought it was by Panuma, and then I went back to go listen to it, and then I couldn't find it. But I remember on the drop, right when it was about to hit the drop. And I thought it was this track right here, but I can't find it, dude. But I just remember right before the drop, it was like, and I love you. And then the drop like comes in. I thought it was Panuma too, but dude, I don't know. Maybe you know what song, but I thought it was Panuma. And like, it was like probably on the second part. Let me see. I don't remember the, f honestly, I don't remember the full song. I just remember like on, right before the drop, maybe I know what song it is. I just remember right before the drop, on the second part of the drop, I think it was. And it's like, and I love you. And then I don't remember how it goes like after that. Just, I remember that part being like super cool because like, I don't know, it just sounded dope. And I think it was like right before the drop hit, those vocals came on. And I thought it was Panuma. Maybe it was a remix to this one, but I thought it was Panuma. And then I went back in my list to see like where the song was at. And then I couldn't find it. And I'm like, what? Where was that song? And I thought it was, I thought it was this one right here. Panuma, it took Siren. But I don't know if I'm tripping or if they... See, in my mind, I was thinking, like, no, I was like, no, I know it's this song. And then, because, like, let me see. Let me see, let me see. 
Let me sign into my other. Let me sign into my other account. Because I remember it was in my playlist and I was like going to it all the time. Because I was like, oh, it's so dope. But then I went, when I went to go find it, I'm like, what? Where's that one track at? And I just couldn't find it. And I'm like, what? And I was looking all in the playlist and I just, it was nowhere to be found. I'm like, what the heck? And I could have sworn, because I remember it was, I'll show you. This is like my playlist of all the Deep House that I like. And I remember it being in a specific section. I remember it being like, maybe I'd have to go through all these and find out. I remember it being like right here somewhere. Right here in this section. And I could have sworn it was right here, this exact one. Let me see if I can find it. Let's kill this. I was in. Yeah, it was like somewhere in this section, bro. And I could have sworn it was right here. But I just remember like right before the drop, those vocals coming in. Oh, man, it's so bugging me, bro, because I love that part so much in the song. And I don't remember what song it was, but I could have sworn it was this song right here. The um, Panuma song, but I don't know. Let me check this other one. Es una compañía familiar y huh. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. The thing is, too, is like you can on SoundCloud, you can re upload. So, like, so you can upload a track, and if you have like the pro, like the pro version of SoundCloud or whatever, you can, um, like, you can go back and fix your song and then swap out the upload to like. So it'll still show like, it'll still show like the upload that you did, but you can change the, the song that you put into that upload. So you can like clean up the track and fix it up and then kind of swap it. So it'll still have like five, 10,000 plays, but you change the song. Like you can upload like a newer version of the song or a newer mix of it. So I, I don't know. I just feel like that's what happened or something. Cause I could have sworn it was this Panuma Tokyo, whatever. Um, one, but I don't know.
I'm not feeling up, baby. I let him blast me. And now I'm in deep, Maybe this one's it, bro. This one's called Still Love You. I don't know. Yeah, that's not it. Yeah, I don't know, dude. It sucks because I like that song, but I don't know where it's at. Hmm. Panuma. Let me see. Maybe I can find it. Because I could have sworn it was Panuma. Panuma. I love you. And I love you. Kiss, kiss you? I don't think that's it. Kiss you. Oh, this one. Kiss you. Yannick. Yannick. Yannick is dope. Let you down, ghost. Ski. I don't know. Yo, yo, yo. Who's still watching? Who's in the... Who's in the chat? This was probably... Came out like... Maybe a year ago or something. Gab. One time. Panuma. Hey, what? What's this? Still love you. Is this it? I don't know. Maybe. Definitely, maybe. You guys still in the chat? What's going on? Still love you. Oh, that's not it. I still love. Mm, maybe this one. Still love you. And I love you. I think that's how. I just remember it going like that. And I love you. Right before the drop. Maybe I should look up. And. Deep house. I don't know. I don't know. Let me let me love you. 
I love you, baby. Ooh, what's this all about? How deep is your love? Love too deep. I want to love you. I don't know. Why would I lie? Why would I lie to you? Maybe I should check the two years ago. The, I don't think it was two years ago. Oi. I want to love you. I want to love you. I don't know. Um, love your life. What the heck is this? The inlet. Hmm. Popular deep house. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, that's definitely not it. Yannick. Let's see. Let me go. Through. I just want you. It could be any of these, honestly. It's possible. This one's dope. I'll be there. It's super dope. I'll be there. I'll be there for you. To a planet that only got 2,000 plays. That's crazy. I just want you, Yannick. Shoot. Whoops. It's up to me. Let's see. Maybe it was Yannick, bro. Maybe that's back to you. I want you. I want... Have you heard of Yannick? It's possible it was Yannick. Kiss You featuring Yannick. Strange Fruits. Interesting. Interesting. Let me see. Let me check these. Yeah, like I remember, like right on the part right before the drop, which is like right here. That's the part where it was like, and I love you. But I don't know what song it is. But yeah, it was like right before the drop, like right here. Yeah, and the crazy thing is it sounds very similar to Yannick. It sounds similar to this in some ways, actually. What's up? What's up? What's up? 
Yeah, I don't know. I can't find it. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Where is it at? I don't know, man. I don't know. I can't find it. Can't find it. Okay, see. Ручки выше, друзья. Wow, Russian girls are sexy, bro. She's hot. I like this girl. Субтитры 
I like that. That shit was tight as fuck. Look at this fake DJs compilation, bro. Fake DJs. What? Exclusive will be the second release of Revealed in 2017. Can you guess which artist this is? Wow, bro. Are you serious? Hardwell's like. Hardwell's vocals came on here. They're using his mix. Are you kidding me, dude? That's embarrassing. Bro, come on. Oh, gosh, bro. Hardwell on air. <laughs> come on, bro. Hey, that's you right there, Franco. That's you right there. Ten, ten, got my spot, is at the strength of them, I'll win. Ten, 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 win. Ten, 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 win. Ten, ten, got my spot, is at the strength of them.
Bro, that is so lame, dude. You're better off just, like, dancing or something. Like, if you're not even, like, you know, DJing and, like, throwing in sounds, like, it's all good. Like, some DJs just, you know, just do the mixing. Mix one track into the next one and and that's it. You know, you don't have to be, like, faking it like you're touching all these knobs and everything. Just mix the next track into it and just start dancing with it and having fun with it. Don't try to fake like you're doing a bunch of stuff. That's just stupid. You just look like a dummy. You might as well just mix the track and have fun, dance around. Just whatever, dude. You don't have to, like, be faking it and act like you're doing something. Do something. Don't act like you're doing something. Wow, bro, not everybody could be dead mouse, bro. Wow, I mean, I don't know, bro. I don't know what's up with these guys. Bro, what is he doing? Like, why? I don't understand. Like, why are they touching the knob so much? Like, I don't get it. Maybe it's just like, I don't know. I can't even explain it because there's three of them right there. I'd feel embarrassed and weird, like, next to them. Like, we're all touching shit but not doing shit. This is a weird video. Are they really not doing it? Is this, like, even the right music to this video or what? Because this one seems weird. This one seems weird compared to the other ones, but that's weird. Just like touching knobs for what? Especially when there's three of them. If I were them, I'd just be up there dancing, like pumping each other up, jumping up and down, like having fun with it. The touching the knob thing, I just don't get. I don't know. It's so weird to me. I can't even figure it out. Maybe like they just don't know what to do. Like maybe instead of just standing there and looking stupid, like it's just a habit of like touching it. Or I don't know. I mean, I've never DJed, but I don't know. Maybe a DJ can tell me. It's like a habit of just touching it. Like, I don't know. It's weird. Just like that, I was a DJ. I was living the dream. People were dancing away, feeding me drinks, having a great time. And all I was doing was playing Aviva's finest hold music. What I didn't realize though, was that there wasn't actually that much for me to do, uh, as I'd already passed play. Luckily, I bought some Scrabble, uh, caught off on some laundry and, and did some reading. Dang it, I keep hitting the mute. So my favorite producer live, bro, is Gasafelstein, bro. He's the best, the best ever, bro. There is nobody better.
in my opinion, at DJing. He is uh, amazing. I didn't even know he was in LA like that, but this guy is sick, dude. There ain't nobody like this guy. There ain't nobody like this guy. Yeah, and when he touches buttons, he's doing something. You can hear it. He's filtering out the sound right now when he's touching that knob. He's cutting out the lows. But he, he is the best, in my opinion. Live, this guy's amazing. Yeah, dude, this guy is so good. He's really, like, doing something. Watch, I'll see if I can show you my favorite part, which I think is over here. At six minutes or something like that. But, yeah, dude, this guy's freaking amazing.
Yeah, dude, this is my favorite part right here. I found it. This part right here is my freaking favorite, bro. He's so good, dude. Love this part. Watch. Yeah, he's freaking amazing, dude. He is so good. So good. Who do you want me to listen to, Franco? Who do you want me to listen to? Dang, bro, twenty two hundred and seventy five million views. What? Yeah, this is dope. Um, so Dookie, Dookie, is it Dookie? Is that what, am I saying it right? Sounds funny. Um, Dookie, he, so he's a producer or he, he's the singer, the rapper guy. Is he a rapper or is he a producer or is he both or what? Let me see. Produce, oh, Omar Varela. Varela. Omar Varela. So Omar Varela. Is a producer. Omar Verela. So he's the producer that you're talking about. He's from Argentina. So let's see what's up. Dubstep Gutter. Gutter. Sorry. Said that wrong. Let's see what this guy is all about. Omar Verela. Valera. Valera. Varela. Sorry. Varela. He is one of the best. Yeah, Varela. 
Let me check these songs out for okay, so that was cool. Let me check out his stuff. Your business this idea, idea needs a website, website. so go to Wix.com. I know what you're thinking. Another Yeah, super dope. Let me check out his other stuff, and I'll check out the Argentina Lollapalooza. Hey, is uh, is Duki and Kazu? Are they from uh, Argentina as well, or what? These two guys. That's a good shot. Can we open with the girls called Altas Watchas and they dance at these uh I like this digital cumbia parties. I have no idea what kind of dancing what is cumbia? Cumbia is like the most uh, big uh, music genre of Latin America. Here we use cumbia to teach. Cumbia is like what uh, here people young people listen to. What do the old people listen to? People are How much is this group have a look? Uh, we're gonna trip like 
change. Uh, we're going to do a dance studio for these. Uh, and Welcome to Argentina, right there, baby. Welcome to Argentina. Oh. Woo! Yes, it's in the law. <laughs> Every night you can go everywhere. There's, there's a lot of people going out. Nobody have money, but the, the restaurants are full. Where are they going tonight? Where are they going? Where are they going? And the music, what style? Cumbia. ¿Te gusta la cumbia? La vieja la con toda la instrumento, todo lo clásico. Sí. Tierras por construir otra planta en el edificio más alto donde mueren en infarto. Yeah, this is cool. Interesting. Argentina, I came back. I came back in a minute. What do you mean? I came back in a minute. What you mean, boy? I came back in a minute. Ooh la la. I need to go to Argentina, bro. Like today. I need to go right now. Looks fun. Volleyball. This is match number three. For Argentina versus the Netherlands. Argentina versus the Netherlands, baby. I'm guessing the blue is Argentina. Yeah. Argentina versus the Netherlands. Bing. Bing. Wow. Right, I can watch this stuff all day. All right, let's see this guy walking around Argentina. Let's see. Ah, turn off. Walk in the streets of Argentina. Where's this guy? Buenos Buenos Aires. Are you uh, you live in Buenos Aires or what? Gimnasio. El Antenio. El Antenio. El Antenio. Interesting. Hmm. Buenos Aires. I get back in a minute. Oh, okay. Interesting walk in the streets. Hmm. Okay. It's like in a mall or something. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. All right, let's do this. Let's do it.
Give me. Dope, bro. Dope, bro. People are going crazy over there. Damn, bro, what are they putting in the water in Argentina, bro? Dang, bro. Crazy. Crazy. That's so dope, bro. This guy is uh freaking sick. Omar Varela. Really good, bro. Really freaking good. Really good. All right, bro. I'm going to uh I'm going to take off right now. I got to work on some stuff. I'll probably be streaming again tomorrow, pretty much every day. I'll see you tomorrow, if anything, bro. This is dope, though. This is super dope. Super duper, 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 bro. Dope. I like it. All right. Franco. Franco Rocha. Thanks, bro. Thank you, man. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, bro. Appreciate you. Thanks for always hopping on the streams and trying to help me out, bro. I appreciate it a lot. I appreciate it a lot. Um, but, yeah, I will. I'll see you later. See you later.